slow everybody and yeah I'm not sure I'll try to post this a little bit later uh, not feeling good today I'm going to the doctor now uh, just didn't have a good night couldn't sleep very well feel more or less completely you know I feel I'm about to get sick let's put it that way so take it try to take it easy I actually took a nap before going now to the doctor but that's not what I'm here to talk about I'm here to talk a little bit about what happened with soccer the last few days because we know we have a full uh, slate of league games and league cup games and some nations actual cup games so yeah there has been some stuff happening. Um, I think the most notable results were of course yesterday that the two big Spanish giants lost. I, this morning I only saw the highlights of Real Madrid against Sevilla. And Sevilla is at the moment one of the hottest teams out there. I mean 3 nothing against Real Madrid. I think they had a big win on the weekend then already a Europa League, Sevilla is in great form um, and yeah for Real Madrid gonna be interesting uh, they have the Madrid Derby and you know suddenly Atletico also doesn't look that bad in shape I, a week ago I said I'm not sure about Atletico but you know uh, now that the big boys lost Atletico is also right in touch with them if they beat Real Madrid then Atletico is ahead of them so there goes my prediction again uh, and of course the bigger one is that Barcelona I have not seen the, the highlights yet I'm actually curious Barcelona losing against the last place team Leganes, Lejanes you tell me how you pronounce them uh, within 60 minutes six, uh, seconds getting two goals after one nothing lead um, again I want to watch the highlights later when I have the time I just need, I need to catch up on the rest so that's why I haven't. But from what I heard, they basically thought that going up after 10, 10, 10 minutes by goal, that's it. Yeah, that was not it. As simple as that. Yeah, and so the Spanish league has a little bit more suspense going again. I really hope that Sevilla, I really hope that uh, Atletico can mount the challenge to the two of them. Um, yesterday when I, I, oh, this morning, I'm, you can see I'm not doing well. Um, when I saw the highlights, um, I also saw that Real Madrid were playing in their red jerseys against Sevilla in their white with black socks. And I think that's the only reason they didn't wear the black jerseys, uh, which would have made, I think, more sense than the red ones. Um, I also want to go to Germany because they actually watched yesterday the highlights, but I couldn't do a video yesterday because I was with the other car. I don't have this nice holder. Uh, we're gonna install it, so I'm a little bit more independent on that. But yeah, uh, there was the big game between Werder and Hertha that Werder won, I think 3 1. Um, I actually look good, and this was the first time in a long time that Werder looks like they could be at least in the upper half of the table again, which is in a way needed. I think Werder is one of those teams that you want to see on top. Um, also, yeah, with the Hertha jerseys, I actually didn't mention on, my, on Monday in my video, I actually watched the Bundesliga highlights, I saw the Hertha jerseys, they're just awful. <laughs> they don't, from a distance, you make them out as striped jerseys, but they have this little slant in them, which is already weird. And if you see them up close, they're just awful. Uh, they're right up there with Real Madrid, uh, not Atletico Madrid, uh, being horrible. And as we will see, my Europa League jersey review will be up tonight. I hope I, this, when this video posts on time. Um, that's before that video. Yeah, there's a, there are others that are, are horrible, but those two really peak out. And then, of course, the big result was Augsburg getting a draw in Munich against Bayern. Um, that one I watched the highlights without knowing the result and all I expect is a clear Bayern victory. Nope. 
<laughs> they got a 1-1. And it should have been a clear Bayern victory. Uh, I think Renato Sanchez really had a great game. He is finding his footing there. And yeah, Robben scored a Robben goal. Tell me, if you think of a Robben goal, it's always the one where he gets the ball on the right, makes a cut in uh, to the left and then shoots under the bar somehow. A typical Robben goal. And I really wonder why no one can defend this better. I know he is a great player, but uh, yeah. Al Hallis and Sov also, of course, Inter versus Fiorentina. A little bit unlucky for Fiorentina. I think the penalty for Inter, that was really, really a soft penalty. Even with VAR, um, you couldn't really make it out. Yes, probably there was some hand contact. And I understand this is what they gave in the World Cup final at the World Cup all the time. That is the part of penalty that I don't like. Uh, but yeah. So Inter got a somewhat lucky victory. Um, Federico Chiesa looks, who scored the 1-1, one -one, looks almost exactly like his father. It's uncanny. Uh, other than that, I think Juventus, Roma, all the big boys won. So tonight is Milan. If I feel fit enough, I might watch it. But let's see. Uh, for us, I didn't see a thing. So we are in England and yeah. I think the big talking point is still, uh, I haven't actually seen any, anything about Liverpool and Chelsea, I'm sorry about that, I might add this later on. Uh, the big talking point is for sure the League Cup exit of Manchester United, although I don't pay too much attention to the League Cup, it's well, one of the less sensitive uh, competitions out there, but you know, just a second. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I honestly think that the big talking point is, of course, what is Mourinho and Pogba, where is this relationship going? I honestly think in his third year Mourinho has there's little magic left in Mourinho. I think it's time to move on from Mourinho. I know he has an expensive contract, but I think if I have to choose between Mourinho and Pogba, I'm usually for the coach, but in this case, I don't think he has any control over the dressing room anymore, and I think Pogba is... If you're Manchester United, I think you want to keep Pogba, and you want to keep Pogba as long as possible at your club. If you find the right system with Pogba, I think you have a bright future. Just my opinion. So that's where I would go. But yeah, I think I saw Chelsea City, but that's already two days ago. I actually have not looked up any results. Well, that was it. I might look up a little bit more and add on. And now I have to fill in gas and then I go to the doctor. I will talk to you soon. So, I'm done with the doctor. Who said I should just lie at home and rest? Well, Anyway, what the plan was. Now, I, while waiting, of course, I managed to watch the not highlights actually, I didn't have a highlight video ready, but I watched the goals of uh, Liverpool against Chelsea, uh, which we'll see again on Saturday. I really hope I can watch that one. But we have already a kind of a busy Saturday ahead of us, but um, forward to that one. Uh, I also saw that Juve Napoli is just around the corner and then the Madrid Derby. There are three games I need to watch. Well, League Cup. Of course, I didn't play with the uh, AAA squad, but you know, the squads, I, I look at the lineups and they didn't seem like uh, too much of, of course. Um, all the good players were playing, but not necessarily together. Uh, Liverpool took the early lead playing at home at Anfield um, was actually a nice goal by Sturridge, uh, you know, uh, scissor kick uh, into the empty net, so that's a good one. Uh, I can't really comment much on the course of, of, of the game, they looked uh, whether the equalizing goal by Chelsea around the 79th was offside or not, VAR decided not, so I guess that settles that. Uh, was a little bit confusing to be honest 
and then the last one, Azar. Gotta give it to him. Uh, not Maradonesque, but a really great goal. Uh, already dribbling around two players. Um, ahead of the goal, Femek making a pass, getting the ball again. Again, uh, pass two players, solo, and then a really nice shot into the corner. Brilliant goal, you just can't say bravo, bravo, bravo. Um, it seems again that Chelsea and Liverpool are, seems at the moment that those are the two teams, uh, although never count on Manchester City, you know. Um, they are also quite good. But at this moment, those two seem to stand apart from the rest. Um, I think I saw other league of, I think Tottenham made it against Watford 2 2, and then I think penalty shootout. Arsenal also managed, so you know. The only one that of the big boys that now didn't make is Liverpool and Manchester United. Uh, uh, Liverpool, I think, will not be too unhappy. I think the League Cup is not on there. But I think they want to win the championship. Uh, also, one last on Germany. Of course, the big result was that Dortmund beating Nuremberg 7-0. Uh, uh, which also reminds me of another result that I didn't mention on the weekend when uh, in Switzerland not watching Swiss League too much, but you know, I uh, just saw the result when going through all the results in Europe. Young boys beating up on Basel 7-1. That's, that's a huge result. I mean, I don't know how Basel is these days. I know they have the former Austrian national team coach, of, uh, which I liked a lot and I think he's a pretty decent coach. He just uh, took the reins at Basel, but I think Basel is a little bit in disarray probably. Um, but 7-1, that's, that's a statement, that's a statement. I really, I didn't like that um, they lost, that Bern lost their coach. I know he went to Frankfurt, it's a bigger league, but yeah, it's the market. His stock was never as high as at that point to go to one of the top five leagues. Well, yeah, Dortmund 7 nothing, and thanks to Bayern finally dropping points, it doesn't look as clear anymore. Uh, so, so far the only leagues where it's really, really clear cut, uh, I think is Italy. Juventus and Napoli are ahead of the pack, but I actually think that Juventus still looks better. Napoli already lost the game, Juventus needs to drop the game to Napoli that this will could become a race again and of course France but you know that was never I mean uh, Paris Saint-Germain now won seven in a row or something like that uh, and always they're falling behind it's never that you know it's never that they're dominating uh, at the beginning but in the end it's always clear results it's just it starts out with uh, maybe the underdog even goes ahead the opponent and then uh, PSG and I highlight them and I highlight uh, uh, since I have only a few more minutes to go, uh, there are just two other things. I wanted to mention a little bit about the uh, uh, FIFA players, you know, the gala that uh, was done, where um, yeah, we can, I think Modric is a good, uh, good call overall. Um, I don't quite understand that it was that Messi was not. I mean, he had an uh, Outstanding season, he just didn't show up at the World, World Cup and Barcelona followed in the Champions League. But in the league, Messi probably was, uh, no, probably was really better than Ronaldo. Which brings me to the other thing that I thought was a little bit of a farce. Um, Mohamed Salah, best goal of the season? Come on. This is a goal, yes, you don't see it every weekend, but you see it at least once a month. Uh, and then there were the two Real Madrid goals where I actually was hoping we will now get the clear statement was Ronaldo's better or was Bale's better? Both absolutely stunners. I would give Bale the nod for the simple reason that it was the Champions League final, it was the winning goal in the Champions League final. And we can of course discuss which one was better, Zidane's winner against Leverkusen or Bale's winner against Liverpool. Uh, I might also just give Bale a little bit of nod there. 
and uh, this was this was a wonderful goal. Ronaldo's, I mean, it's just an, for me personally just an inch worse. Uh, I mean, we can discuss this forever. Uh, Zidane and Ronaldo are still the bigger names than Gareth Bale, uh, so maybe this will always weigh in their favor. But it had to be one of those two, and not Mohamed Salah. Maybe they didn't give it to Ronaldo because Ronaldo didn't attend. Although, um, no, I don't get it. I really don't. This is just uh, a farce. Um, yes, Mohamed Salah would not have gotten a single uh, award. I think if he won Premier League Player of the Season, great. But um, I even would have put Messi ahead of Salah, given the season that they had. I mean, Messi won two titles. Uh, Salah didn't win, win a thing. Yeah, he was the best goal scorer. He had a wonderful season. I will probably, after last year, he probably was among the, let's say, I will put him safely in the top five. Not sure if I will put him in the top three, though. Um, sorry. And I like the guy. I really do, but uh, you gotta compare uh, what was happening. And so, yeah. I thought this was, I mean, the awards, honestly. I, I probably care enough to make this a part of my video and I should have cared about it already on Tuesday in the morning but I thought it's more important to talk about other things so yeah that tells you the status of the award and the last thing was gonna happen today and probably by the time you watch it we already know the decision um, I hope I have, I have this video up by three o'clock we will know who will be the host for Euro 2024 Germany or Turkey and to be honest, this is a stingy vote in a way. Because no matter how it ends, Turkey is the winner. If Turkey wins it, of course, then they get finally a big um, event that they have been bidding for three times in a row already. So for that reason, probably, I actually would give the edge, just from a gut feeling, to Turkey. Because Germany already hosted Euro 88, they had the World Cup not too recent, uh, yeah, not too long ago, recently I was about to say. Um, they hosted another World Cup in 74. Um, they actually are part time hosts at Euro 2020. I think Munich gets some. No, did Munich get some games? I want to say Munich has got some games. I might be wrong here now. I think they might have just withdrawn because of that bid. Uh, but yeah, Germany is a safer bet. It's safer uh, to get the tournament there. I think we know they already have everything in place and it's not be an, another extra effort. The infrastructure is great in Germany. So I think every, on every regard, Germany would be the clearer choice. Also location. The great thing about the World Cup that Germany has such a great location within Europe um, that you know it's a home tournament for basically everyone and Germany has enough uh, immigrants from all other countries that you really can make a case that this would be a Euro for everyone um, but I understand um, you should give big tournaments also to smaller nations and Turkey is not exactly a smaller nation um, and probably if the political situation was different, I actually would probably say, let's give it to Turkey. But, you know, we have now, we had the World Cup in Russia, we had Euro 2020, just because I think UEFA didn't want to give it to Turkey. They made this pan-European tournament, and of course it's also the anniversary, uh, 50th, 50th anniversary of the Euro, so, okay. Is it the 50th, 60th? Ah, it's not the 50th, 60th anniversary. But yeah, uh, then we have now Qatar, Qatar, and it will become uh, then Turkey. You know, on the other side, tournaments do well in cause author authoritarian regions. What shall I say? Part of me wants it in Turkey, I just, and you know, not give it to the big nations again. Uh, that would be nice. Part, part of me says, just give it to Germany and you're guaranteed a great tournament. That's all I can say. 
Well, let me know your thoughts on all the topics that are going around at the moment. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, if, whether you agree with me or not. And yeah, uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. I hope I get better soon. Probably there won't be a video tomorrow, although there will be a react. Maybe, maybe I get a reaction video somehow. And yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.